question. Today I'm going to explain to you why some swim baits are worth more and cost more than certain swim baits, and you know, just why you know people will pay more for a lure like this than they will for a lure like this. Now I have two lures that are very similar in size, not too similar, but one's a six-inch high-power herring, and one is a six and a quarter-inch savage gear and golden shiner. Now, they look very similar in size and, and shape and whatnot. However, there's a few differences. Um, this is plastic injected, um, mass produced, and this one is a handcrafted lure that uh, is, they're both, I'm pretty sure, painted by hand. But this lure is made over in China, this one's made over in Georgia. This one's made by one guy who, uh, you know, hand pours it. Um, hand paints it and hand tests all of his lures and uh, both these lures are very similar however this lure will take you about a few months to get probably take you about a year I, I got one in about eight months or so and this lure you can go on Bass Pro or on Tackle Warehouse and have it to your house then in, in, in like a week or so now you're probably wondering well why would I get something like this compared to something like this um, and there's a few differences on why uh, you would want to get something like this compared to something like this. Um, it's just, you know, the confidence, the rel reliability of the bait, and just how strong and uh, how durable the bait is. Something like this, I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but it actually has an epoxy coating on the paint job. Or something like this, it's just painted on, and uh, this one's pretty new. However, I have a few that um, after about one trip or so, the paint starts to come off really easily. Or something like this, I've had it out a few trips and I only have like a few scratches from, you know, the bass and whatnot. Also another major difference is something you can't tell is the um, quality of the hardware. Now something like hardware normally would run you about 10 or 15 bucks to replace. However, as another expense you have to spend on top of a lure that you get factory bought that you can have to your door within the next day with well not the next day but within the week or so something like this like the savage gear which is 25 bucks plus shipping um the hooks and everything is something you want to change out i've heard a lot of people with bending these out where the um high power herring i'm pretty sure it has owners i think they're st36s maybe I'm not sure for these these hardware you don't have to replace unless you, you know want it you're favorable to another hardware or something. Another big difference is this bait is uh, mash produced and injected so it's I'm pretty sure it's a two-part bait that they have to seal it together and something like this is a resin style bait and the difference between injection and resin is um, the resin is very durable. You can have really good resin. It's almost indestructible. It can take a beating or something like this up against a dock or uh, you know seawall or something and it'll crack into the um the body and you know the water will penetrate into the body and uh the lure will you know not sink right or just be defective or something like this you can throw it up against the seawall and everything you might get a few nicks in it but no water will penetrate this body because it's solid resin and it might hinder the action a little bit if you knock like a little chunk off of it but it's not going to completely make the lure useless so one of the huge factors is you're buying reliability over uh, quantity. You're buying something that's it's going to be very reliable. This is a very reliable board too. I've thrown this many trips. Something like this, you know, if you have it tied on good and you don't lose it, something that can last you years and years. Another huge factor with big swim baits, and people don't get with the cost and everything. They they're, think that 80 bucks like this is outrageous. Um, Say if you're throwing live bait, like down here in Florida, you're throwing live shiners. Normally when you go out, you normally need about five to eight dozen. If you're going out to a pretty good hot spot, um, I think shiners down here run you about $10 a dozen. So if you do the math, that's about 50 to 80 bucks a trip. Um, you spend 80 bucks a trip, that's one of these lures. If you can you know, use, utilize this lure in the same manner that you would a live bait, and uh, not spend 80 bucks a trip 
80 bucks for one lower or even three 300 bucks or 250 is what they're going for in the market right now is still compared to having to get 50 to 80 dollars worth of live bait every trip that you go out so that's just my reasoning behind you know investing in swim baits and other is you know it's very um rewarding when you're able to trick the fish and um almost at, be like lifelike to a fish of a bait i mean a lot of people a lot of people can go out there and throw a live bait out there and you know the fish is going to come along eventually and get it uh, being able to trick the fish and um just a whole you know mojo behind swim baits is just very intriguing to me and um i'll show you a few other examples i have of uh, high dollar swim baits this one is a uh, a hinkle lower shad made by andrew hinkle and size isn't too comparable to the savage gear let me see if i can good shot i'll get hooked now you're probably wondering well i'll just spend the 25 bucks for the savage gear which you know for first time lore buyer um that's a great option you don't want to wait i waited about a year for this I have we got on a waiting list and everything and this is about retail 160 um the market right now is about 225 250 for one of these um it goes up it goes up to like 300 i've seen go all up to 400 so it's almost like an investment but you're investing in a high quality lure handcrafted i don't know if you can tell but these fins it's like a durable um urethane rubber so they're very durable um won't get torn up as easy has a very high quality i'm pretty sure these are owner hooks i'm not sure of the size so you don't have to change out the hardware worry about the hardware it's um uh resin bo a resin body so there's no injection no possibilities of this um water penetrating and uh causing the lure to be defective and the good thing about this lure compared to something like this is um even though it's mass produced and this is kind of mass produced but it's done by one guy compared to a factory over in china which not bag bag and savage here they have awesome lures but you can't compare um, mass produced lure to a handcrafted lure that someone crafted this lure out of a piece of wood molded it and you know hand pouring uh a resin body um this lure is a very very good lure and for the first time lure bar i would highly recommend something like this but for someone that you know wants to step it up a level um something like andrew hinkle's hinkle shad is you know it's going to get you there um these lures are pretty consistent i've never had any sinking issues or any difference between um sink rates however something like this you're gonna have a really really precise sink rate um this lure when I first shot it, I had a little bit of a problem with the, the air bubbles in these urethane fins causing it to float. And about a minute fix, I was able to have this thing fixed. But this is, shows that how precise this bait is and how fine-tuned this lure is to where it's hand-tuned. And it's just hand-painted and everything. It's just, it's got all those cool factors and all the craftsmanship. So you're really buying, you're buying craftsmanship, you're buying someone's perfection into a lure. You're buying, you know, someone's hard work and dedication to the sport of big swim bait throwing and fishing. So something like this, um, I don't know if I'd ever spend 400 bucks or so unless I, you know, this thing caught me a 15 pounder and caught me 15 pounders every trip or if it just was really reliable for me. However, I'd probably, you know, if you had another wait list, I'd probably get on it. I don't know if I'd want to wait another year, but buy like five of them and you're set for a while um but yeah something like this i wouldn't say it's for the first time angler unless you get a really good deal on one on the market um something like this is for someone a trophy hunter someone who's you know dedicated to the sport has been doing a while uh someone who's guiding and they they you know they know every trick and where to throw it and they just need that lure that will pull those big bass out of that area that they know they're in. This is the lore that's going to do it. Um, and like I said before, not bragging, not bagging on Savage Gear. Um, this lore will do, do it too. You don't think that you have to spend that 160 to 400 dollar um, price range to you know catch a big fish. You can catch them on this all day long. For all the beginners out there, this thing will catch it all day long. Um, I'd probably change all the hooks on it. 
But that's other than that, you're really good to go on this thing. And quite frankly, you could buy it. I think probably I don't know how many, probably about um, ten to seven of these before you have the price of that. And you know, you could just beat the crap out of these and catch your fish on them, and some one of them breaks switched out and also Savage Gear has awesome customer service so if you have a defective lure or have something that cracks you know they're going to replace it so that's another thing and same with Andrew Hinkle if you have a defective lure like that you just contact them I'm pretty sure he takes care of it cost free Savage Gear I'm pretty sure cost free they'll probably just send you out a replacement so you know if your first time swimmate buyer one of these will do you and I'm going to do a video for first time swim baiters and you know just what lures are out there for you guys however savage gear um get you done this is their smaller version i'll say i got like three or four of these things they get the job done also another thing i want to touch on on these lures compared to these lures is you're really paying for that action also um you might think it's very minute but if you're really um sees an angler you're gonna know those differences and you're gonna know what works what, what doesn't work I've noticed on some of these savage years I don't know if it's all of them but like high speed you know burning something they just can't handle I know on some of the high power rings I don't know if this one's a, a burner but I know on some of the other models you can burn this thing all day long without it um you know rolling rolling some of my savage years I'll, I'll try to burn it and it'll turn just like this and just like flounder I mean it's all about action really action combine that handcrafted quality um you know and it's really an investment I mean as you can as you guys can tell these swim baits you know the demands there it's one guy leaving it in his you know, garage and something like this I mean it's mass produced it's really um, available something like this not so much I mean there's only so much a one guy can make in a year so another another reason why they're so expensive is you're paying for that demand and a lot of people that are demand want this lore and you know they can't fill the demand unless you go to the next step for it like, as a factory and then sometimes when you go to factory you know you just lose that quality or you just won't have that hand perfected and you know quality assurance or you just You'll have all that, and the price of this will skyrocket. It'll go from eighty dollars to you know, one hundred sixty, two hundred bucks. So, I hope this helps you guys a little bit understand the um, swim bait market and why something like this warrants more than something like this. Um, for the beginners out there, there's nothing wrong with this. There's nothing wrong with this. They're both great baits. Um, if you're just getting started, I'd recommend something like this. Um, because if you throw something like this off, 25 bucks, yeah, it's gonna suck. Let's go back out and buy another one. Throw something like this, it's 80 bucks. If you spend the retail market, it's like probably 200 bucks, 250 right now. So that's it's a big markup compared to 25 bucks plus. You're not gonna be able to just go back out to Bass Pro and buy this. It's um, waitlist. I'm pretty sure he's not taking any orders right now. I just got one from him, and it was about seven months ago, and he's, he's you know he's packed. He's Bands there, so for first time buying something like this, if you're seasoned, you know what you're doing, you know, you know what this does, and you know why this warrants so much. And I just hope it helps you guys that come in this market not to be scared. You know, it is what it is. It's an awesome market. I'm glad that you know lures like this warrant the money they do. Um, Randall spends a lot of hard work in those lures, and it shows. I have lures that from him that are just. They're so perfected, I mean, it's just so precise, and it's one of my favorite lures, same with Andrew Hinkle, so precise, perfected, and quality shows, um, and just, that's the reason why some of these lures weren't more than some of these, and um, why I'm just trying to explain to you guys why, you know, it is, I mean, it's hard to explain, and some of you guys will probably be like, well, I'm still going to go out and buy one of these lures, that's, that's fine, and Andy catch them all day long on this board but just trying to explain to you guys why something like this warrants more and why you know there's a market for it it's just it's an awesome board um hope you guys enjoy my videos 
let me know in the comments what you what you, what you would like me to do um, in future videos. Um, I plan on covering uh, top five um, swim baits for beginners to help you guys come in that swim bait market and not be overwhelmed by all the lures that are out there because there is a huge selection of lures out there. And I'm gonna help you guys, you know, pick the right ones for the beginners and keep it on track, and then eventually, you know, move into the swim bait market because it's very very overwhelming in the beginning and you know you get in it the wrong way you get burned out real fast and you know we're all out here to have fun we're all here to throw swim baits and we're all here to catch big fish and you know swim bait market will do that for you you guys have a good one and uh stay tuned